what the fuck is up higher point of view here it is your west coast packer backer jair alexander well shit you know in the hood nicknames is earned bro so i guess i can call you job money now <laughs> i could call you job money now bro hey congratulations on your motherfucking new contract uh, we ain't gonna get into the details. Hey, y'all wanna research? Do your research. But uh, it's looking like an eighty-four million dollar contract, and they're saying it's the top paid corner in the league. So that's another accolade that you can add to your, you know, to your trophy case. At one point, you were the highest paid corner in the league. But uh, let's get into it. Let me tell you what we need from you, bro. We just need continued success, bro. Ever since you got drafted. Nice ass suit too, burgundy suit. Hey, burgundy, my favorite color. If you know, you know. And I'm a bow tie nigga, so you 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 just had the whole deal. I was already sold by that. And you was just jumping out of your suit, bro. Like it looked like you really wanted to rip your suit off. You know, I compare that to Rashawn Gary and him just crying on the phone. When I see these these guys get drafted and see that instant reaction of how they feeling, I know we got a dog and we got a motherfucking dog in you. So again, congrats to this new contract, yo. You motherfucking deserve it. You are a, a shutdown corner. And hey, hard work pays off. You see what happens. So, as far as this season, John Money, <coughs> I just want continued success, bro. I can't really ask you to do more, bro. You've been, you've been a top corner since you got into the game, bro. Hey, that game at the Coliseum in L.A., when we played the Rams, when they were really good beating everybody and we gave them a, a tough challenge, I was watching you the whole time, bro, live and in color. I'm telling everybody, hey, look at 23, look at Jair, look what he's doing. They looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, who is that? You guys are losing. What's going on? Bro, it ain't about losing. I seen this nigga going in, bro. Brandon Cooks ain't had nothing for him that game. And that might have been his rookie year. If that wasn't his rookie year, that was his second year. So, Ja, hey. I ain't, I ain't gonna bring you to the dean's office. I ain't got nothing to say to you, bro. Sorry you got injured last year, but let me tell you about that. You can, hey, kudos to you for not fucking getting surgery last year and just thugging it out until it was time to play. You probably could have played, you know, a, a few weeks earlier, but you know how the Packers are cautious about injuries. We threw you in there on that playoff game, bro, and you did not miss a beat. So all I'm asking, Ja, is like, Continue success. Do what the fuck you been doing. You are a shut down corner. They don't find those everywhere. And I think you're the best corner in the league. And I'm not being a homer. Who I would put number two as best corner in the league is Jalen Ramsey. He might have you on the sides, but I don't think he has you on athletic ability. Y'all around the same. But what you do have him at is whether it's your fault or not, after a play, I don't see you jumping up and down and pointing fingers at motherfuckers. Hey, 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 Jalen Ramsey, we know it wasn't your fault, bro. We know this and that. Like, bro, we ain't getting that from Jair. You are a pro's pro. And um, if I'm going to nitpick, if I'm going to nitpick about anything about your game, you know, that tackle you did get hurt on, bro, you went shoulder first. Hey, that was a big-ass running back. You got to have a little bit more awareness. You were already in the backfield. If you were to make that tackle, it would have been a, a great play like you always do. But he ended up bouncing off of you. But you went down shoulder first. And again, these running backs, again, look at Bo Jackson. This guy wasn't Bo Jackson, but like running backs, their strongest base is their thighs, you know. They got big ass tree trunk thighs and you went shoulder first, bro, against that. That wasn't a good idea. You got to wrap his legs up, bro. You know that, but you was just, hey, you was in dog mode and you went in for the kill and it just didn't work out that time. And then one more thing, and again, I'm nitpicking now. Like, your game is perfect, bro. Like, I, I can't ask you to do more. You are a lockdown corner. I'm nitpicking now. That, it could have been a better tackle on that play. You probably wouldn't have got hurt. And can we get a little more interceptions going now? Now, to have your back on this, it's hard to get interceptions when a motherfucker don't even want to throw your way. And that's the problem. Motherfuckers don't even want to throw your way because you are all over the receivers. But again, you know, it's always cute and, you know, all of us like the splash plays. And then again, you might have a bigger role this year because, look, Joe Barry don't know nothing about you. He only had you for about four games. He ain't been able to play with you like he really wanted to. He ain't been able to put you in different spots like he really wanted you to. So I don't know what the plan is going to be this year. You know, is they going to move you around? That's fine because you're fully capable of doing it. Are they going to just keep you at the corner? 
and, and, and just play that play that left side, hey, that's fine with me too. Are they just going to have you follow the best receiver on the other team? We giving you all these options because you can do them all. You are motherfucking great, bro. And you are already a great Packer. I'm not trying to talk too early, but just continue success, bro. If you do what you've been doing since you got into the motherfucking league, bro, you're going to be fine, bro. And again, I ain't got shit else to say to you, dog. You the motherfucking man. You job money. You got your money. But one thing I will say, Eric Stokes said, you know, John ain't too much of a talker. If I ask him a question, he going to tell me, but he just ain't too much of a talker. Take a little bit more because they paying you a lot of money now. Take a little bit more of a leadership role as far as, oh, Stokesy. Let me, hey, let me, let me show you this. Hey, you did it this way. Hey, try it this way next time. You know, you ain't got no problem answering if they ask you, but bro, we, you know, paying you a little more. Hey, go, go to the young corner. Tell them like, hey, bro, I seen this. You, you should try this. I seen this. You should try this. Even with Sewell. You know, Sewell, you know, he's a bet by now in this game, but he can still learn from you because you're the best, bro. So if anything, I'm just asking you to take a little notch up in the leadership, bro. I know you don't talk much and you lead by example. That's cool. That's always a good quality to have. But sometimes to get the ultimate play out of the people around you, sometimes you got to say something. And your words will hold value with this franchise, yo. Hey, Aaron Rodgers wasn't the... The best leader his first couple years and he admits that he didn't really have to be because he had guys like woodson he had guys like whoever the fuck else just just take a little bit step up in the leadership bro that's all i'm asking you and that tackle you got hurt on you could have wrapped him up and didn't go shoulder first you can't go shoulder first against a running back hey if it was a a, a skinny ass you know one of the wide receivers damn damn show go shoulder first and do whatever you need to do but a running back can't be doing that, bro, when you got hurt. But again, you declined to get surgery. You thugged it out and came back in the last game. And that last game you played against San Francisco was a defense, defensive masterpiece. So I know Joe Barry is licking his chops to come fuck with you. You know, he he got so many places he want to put you and so many things he want to put you. Like, bro, continue success. That's all I'm saying. Congrats for getting your money. And then one more thing. One more thing. Hopefully this ain't too much for you. I'm going to leave you alone. You see, hey. Not everybody going to get talked to crazy or, 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 or critiqued to a way. You don't, hey, I can't say nothing to you, bro. All I'm saying is that tackle, you know, you probably wouldn't have got hurt if you would have just didn't go show the person, wrapped up the legs. We like a, a few more picks, you know, just to be cute for the for the highlights and all that. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather have a, a lockdown corner who just ain't going to give up no passes. And that's what the fuck you do. PFF or whatever it is, I guarantee if you look up now, the, the time from the time you started the league and the time you played, you probably have one of the most passes defended. And I ain't even did my research on that. I just know it's a fact, bro. So, again, one more thing, bro. You got paid. You got to take care of your people, man. You know, you know. Hey, take the D lineman out for a dinner. I don't know. Buy the corners a Rolex. Get your linebacker something. Because, listen, they going to make your job easier. If they love you, they going to run through a wall for you, bro. Hey, you ain't got to cover a nigga too long if Rashawn had already got the sack. You ain't got to cover a nigga too long if Devondre done, done, done put pressure, done covered the middle, and now the quarterback's on the second and third option, and he got to throw the ball away. Hey, you got a, you got a big contract, bro. You got to, hey, you got to get to the fam. You got to give to the gang, yo. So go ahead, take the D lineman out to dinner or something. Go, go hook up your corners with a Rolex. Hey, hook up the linebackers, bro, because they are going to help you out. And speaking of corners... It's kind of different this year, bro. This year coming up. You got a little help. You got a little help. You know, first it was like, oh, it's just Jair and that's it. Kevin King is over there. We're going to throw over there. Motherfuckers ain't going to be too quick to throw to, to Sewell because you know he's going to jump the route. <laughs> you know, and motherfuckers, you, hey, pick on him if you want. But, hey, motherfuckers ain't going to be throwing the Stokes like that either. So, hey, again, congratulations, Jair. Continue success. You one of my favorite Packers, bro. And you know, you have now literally earned the name of John Money. You are definitely John Money now. Not that you weren't before, but now you got the Brinks truck to motherfucking back it up. So again, that's all I got for you, little homie. That's all I got for you, bro. Hopefully that wasn't too tough. It shouldn't have been, but I ain't got nothing to say to you, bro. Not everybody gonna be the same. Some niggas gotta get gotta get talked to a different way. But hey, that's it. I'm out.